I am so very proud to introduce the Year 3 Three Minute Talks. The confidence the children have shown doing these talks is very, very impressive. The talks are very, very varied and amazing and interesting. So sit back and enjoy watching our Three Minute Talks. My Three Minute Talk will be on the topic of insects. Insects are the largest animal group on Earth making up 85% of the entire animal kingdom. All insects have six legs and move very quickly. You may think spiders are insects, but they are not insects. They are arachnids. This is because they do not have six legs. They have eight legs. Although insects have a brain, they can't think for themselves. Instead, their simple brains only have set responses. Insects' bodies have three parts, the thorax, the abdomen, and the head. percussion instrument but some also say it's a string instrument. The piano was invented by Bartolomeo Cristofori in Padua, Italy. He was a harpsichord builder and he wanted to build a louder harpsichord. He decided to hit the strings with small hammers instead of plucking them. Hence the piano was born. The first piano was called Bravissimo con Piano e Forte, which is Italian for harpsichord with soft and loud. This was in the early 18th century and has slowly been developed over time into the instrument it is today. my favourite planet Uranus. The solar system is huge. It is about 4.6 billion years old. It is made up of eight planets, more than 180 moons and millions of rocky comets and asteroids. They are all circling a gigantic star called the Sun. The eight planets are divided into two types. The four planets closest to the Sun are called the rocky planets. They are Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. The four planets furthest away from the Sun are called gas giants. They are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. My favourite planet is Uranus. It is the seventh planet from the Sun and the coldest planet in the solar system. The temperature can get as low as minus 220 degrees Celsius. This is my model of Uranus. Scientists believe that a large object collided into it and Uranus tilted over to its side. This created its rings as well. This is the North Pole and this is the South Pole. If you stood on the North Pole, you would get 42 Earth years of summer and after that you would get 42 Earth years of darkness. Hello, my name is William Hurst. I'm going to be talking to you about what I love about football. I support Liverpool because of my dad. He did, because he supported them because of his granddad. 
I have been to see Liverpool play four times, which were against Bournemouth, Norwich, Leicester and Burnley. When it was Liverpool v Leicester, Liverpool got a last minute victory and won 2-1. It was a penalty on the last minute scored by James Milner. The fans went wild when it went in. And I went wild as well, just like my dad. On the Champions League final last season against Tottenham Hotspur, me and my dad watched it on TV. On the first minute, they got a penalty. But we were celebrating like crazy when they'd scored a first minute penalty and when we won the Champions League we were listening to a song to a few songs at like 10 o'clock my favourite football players are Virgil van Dijk Sadio Mane Mo Salah and Trent Alexander-Arnold match attack I have collected match attacks for two years and I have almost completed them already. There is a massive collection as well. They have the world's best players like Cristiano Ronaldo, Neymar, Mo Salah, Mbappe for an example. And they even have some even better players, probably like Virgil van Dijk. I spend pocket money on them and my mum and dad sometimes buy me them for a treat. I've got my own personalised card which is very very special to me. My favourite card is Virgil van Dijk 100 Club which I am going to show to you right now. Which is here and I've got some other cards to show you too. I've got Ronaldo limited edition card, a Sadio Mane card my own personalised card which I got ready to show you Mo Salah Gold Limited Edition and then a Lionel Messi that's all I've got to say for the match attacks I'm now going to move on to playing football I like to play football with my friends in school when we can first thing in the morning when we get to school in the break time and sometimes I play with my parents in the garden. This is a football net here and I've got another one over there. I'm going to talk about nature underwater animals. We must not throw plastic in the sea. Many animals are dying and becoming sick. In Japan there are dolphins that are dying, so we must not throw litter at any time. Always put your rubbish in the bin or if there isn't a bin, then wait till you find one or wait till you get home. Don't throw rubbish on the road or anywhere else, just in the bin. In this picture, it's a picture of fish got caught in some plastic and it's all dirty. Then on this one, it's all clean and Transformers is a series is a series of American science fiction action films based on the Transformers franchise which began in the 1980s. Michael Bay has directed the first five films, Transformers and Seventeen. Avengers on the Fall in 2009. Dark of the Moon in 2011, Age of Extinction in 2014, and the last year in 2016. Transformers came from the planet Cybertron, but they had to win the story of war. They were attacked by some more Transformers that were called the Decepticons. Hello, today I'm going to talk to you about Minecraft. Minecraft is a pixel game, you can create different worlds. You Combine gold, diamond, coal, or iron. You can build buildings like houses. These are my last two latest builds. There are, there are four 
more difficulty levels. There's peaceful, hard, normal and easy. Creative mode. In creative mode you have infinity blocks. Mobs also cannot kill you. You can't die. Redstone. What is redstone? Redstone is like electricity in your house so you can light up things and light your house. Survival mode. In survival mode you can die. Mobs can kill you. In survival mode you don't have infinity blocks. You have to break the blocks or find the blocks to find them. Hello, my name is Jemima. Today I will be talking to you about Emperor Angel Fish. These fish provide light for the coral reef. Adults have yellow stripes and their babies have blue rings. Here is a photo. It's a baby. The reason I chose Emperor Angelfish is that I love their pattern. I searched up pretty fish and this is what I found. I love these fish. They really interest me. I think they are really nice. My dad swam in the Indian Ocean and saw Emperor Angelfish. Lucky him. Angelfish are omnivores in the wild. Endangered animals. Hello everybody. I'm going to talk to you about endangered animals. What does endangered mean? First of all, endangered means almost extinct and extinct means no longer alive. Why are animals endangered? Animals are endangered because of destruction of their homes, global warming, hunting and deforestation. I'm going to show you a book that I got. It's some of the endangered animals. It, when you do this, it can move. This is a rat, a panda. This is an albatross. This is gorilla. This is a rhino. Hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking to you about tennis. Historians believe that the French adapted the game hand of handball from the from Ireland in the 12th century. They came up with methods to protect their hands. Wrapping their hands in cords, wearing gloves and eventually using paddles. Tennis was intended to be played on the lawn. The name tennis probably originates from from the word tennis in French, which means take it and play. The tennis court is a rectangular court with a net running through the middle. You can play on grass, play hard surface or carpet. The equipment that you will need is a racket and a ball. All about penguins. What do penguins eat? Penguins eat seafood. Their main diet is fish. Do they also eat small fish, small shrimp-like animals called krill? Adult empire penguins consume two to five kilograms per day. That's a lot. Except at the start of breeding season or when they are building up their body mass in preparation for molting. Then they eat as much as six kilograms per day. Now that's way more. There are 19 types of penguins. Galapagos penguin, macaroni penguin, Royal penguin, 
Northern rock cocker penguin, Eastern rock cocker penguin, Eric crested penguin, Snake penguin, Viridoland penguin, Yellow eyed penguin, African penguin, Humboldt penguin, Magellan penguin, Chinstrap penguin, Gentoo penguin, Adelie penguin, King penguin, Emperor penguin, White flippered penguin, Little blue penguin, Little blue penguins, 30 centimetres, that's small. Majestic mountains, frozen glaciers, beautiful cities and incredible wildlife. Today, I'm going to tell you about Canada. I have got quite a special connection with Canada. When I was one, me, my mum and my dad went to visit Canada. My Aunt Rose used to live there, so some of my cousins are Canadian. This year, we have planned a trip to Niagara Falls. It is a beautiful waterfall and millions of people go to see it each year. Hi, my name is Rebecca and this is my dog Coco. I'm going to be talking about this. She's a miniature dachshund, or better known as the sausage dog in America, but also called a mini dog. She's 10 years old and this dog is she is 7 She's black and tan, but she looks white. She's white because she's quite old. You can see around like her nose. My presentation today is about Jiu-Jitsu. Jiu-Jitsu is a Japanese martial art. Jiu-Jitsu first began in, the, in, a, in around the year 710 to 794. It is a mix of sumo and other, and other Japanese martial arts which were used in the battlefield for close combat. Over the years, Jiu-Jitsu changed to become more about self-defense. I have been a member of Master of Martial Arts Academy since I was four years old. Between the ages four to six, I was in Little Dragons. When I, when I turned seven, I became a full member of the club. I attend classes once a week on a Monday night. I wear a, I wear a uniform called a gi. The room we practice in is called a dojo. Our teachers are called senseis. When I arrive, I take my shoes off before stepping on the mat. We have to be invited onto the mat and we have to bow to the sensei. Before we step on, before we step on, this, this shows our respect for our sensei. When the class begins, we, we form lines depending on what belt we're, we, we're on. Before we begin the class, we perform a special bow to the sensei. This bow is called a rei. That means respect in Japanese. I will demonstrate a I, I will demonstrate a rei now. The first part of the lesson focuses on fitness. We have to run around, do sit ups, press ups, uh, and squats. It is very tiring but helps us to increase our fitness and stamina. During the rest of the lesson, we practice our katas, punches, kicks and throwing techniques. A kata is a, pa is a pattern of movements made to be practiced alone. It is a way of, of remembering and perfecting movements in martial art. 
When I go to be graded for my next belt, I have to I have to perform uh, in my okay. in front of the examiners. I will I will demonstrate some kicks and punches. Jab hook. Do it harder. Uppercut. Spinning back fist. Good morning, my name is Eliza and today I'm going to be talking to you about gymnastics. Gymnastics. Benefits. Healthy and good for your body. Good exercise. Teamwork because you work with partners. Trust because your partner has to lift and catch you. Exciting and so much fun. Equipment. Balancing to help you improve your balance. A mat so you don't hurt yourself. Pedestals to help you balance. And especially water to keep you hydrated. Exercises. I am now going to be demonstrating some exercises. Stretching, strengthening, agilities and balances. First we will do stretching. Splits. Next we have Jampana. Trying to touch your chin to the floor. And now we have Pike Fold. Trying to put your knee to your chin and try and get your hands past your feet. Strengthening. Try and hold a handstand as long as you can. Hello and welcome to my talk. I'm going to be talking about my favourite animals, monkeys. First of all, types of monkeys. There are over 200 types of monkeys, but it's okay, I'm not going to tell you them all. These are some of my favourites. The squirrel monkey is my favourite. It has a very long tail so it can climb easily. The baboon. The baboon has a really big bump. <laughs> the spider monkey has very long limbs so it can balance and climb easily. The snub nose monkey. The snub nose monkey lives in groups up to 600. The mandrill. You might recognise this monkey from The Lion King. Do you know its name? Vervet monkeys. Vervet monkeys are very caring for one and one each on one another. Howler monkeys. Howler monkeys are very loud, and I mean very, very loud. Hello, my name is Archie Duga. Thank you for listening listening to my presentation today all about Manchester City FC. Manchester City FC by Archie Dougal. Who is the manager of Man City? The manager of Man City Football Club is Pep Guardioli. How many times have Man City won the league? The cup the club has won the Premier League six times. They have won the FA Cup five times. They have won the Charity Shield five times. And the European Cup winners once. What are the Manchester City fans called? They are called the Berties. Who are, who are the man's, Man City's rivals? Manchester United. Boo! Boo! Hello everyone, my name is Samra and today I want to talk to you about the hot current topic, coronavirus, because it's spreading around the world. 
so fast and people are dying with it and that's why so i want to tell you a bit about it today so then you can stay safe in your homes its scientific name is covid 19 disease and the c o and b in covid 19 um, stand for coronavirus and the 19 stands for 2019 because it started in 2019 in a place called Wuhan in China and then spread it to under other countries like Italy, Italy, France, um, European countries, US America and lots of places like that. Two million people around the world have died with it, unfortunately, and 30,000 in UK. That's actually a lot. So now I want to talk to you about precautions. You might have heard the word social distancing. Social distancing is when you go outside, you should always stand two meters away from people. So it's like six feet, two meters away from people. And you should always be protected, wearing face masks, gloves. And when you come back, you should either use some hand sanitizer or go to the bathroom and wash your hands thoroughly for 20 seconds. Whatever you touch when you come home, your hands are going to be dirty. So obviously you should always clean your surfaces that you touch by using anything, but you should normally use this. It's called disinfectant spray. Today I'm gonna to be talking about Rona the lamb. Rona was a lamb who didn't get cured by her mummy. Her mummy didn't feed her. So we took Rona and fed her. Rona was born on the 1st of May and she was very, very weak when we got her from the field and it was going to rain at 11 o'clock but it didn't but we got so worried about the other lamb because she had two babies that we, that we made them a shelter, the other lamb a shelter so then they could go in there because the mum was a wild was wild and she didn't come. Her mummy didn't feed her because she didn't have enough milk for her. And she picked off the strongest one because she only had enough milk for one of them. And she only wanted one lamb. We kept her alive by feeding her her mummy's milk, but not really her mummy's milk. It didn't come out of her mummy. We picked, my mum got a bottle for her, like this, and we feed her like this. Hello, my name's Georgina, and my talk today is about my cousins. There are eight of them all together, there were two girls and six boys. William is 12 and he's the, a boxer. He has won many competitions and has lots of trophies. He has two little brothers named James and Louie. James is five and Louie is four. They both love playing football every Saturday morning and they love play fighting. Eliza is seven. She loves swimming and dancing. When she comes to my house, she always says, put the music on. She has two younger brothers named Archie and Rory. Archie is three and Rory is two this month. They both love dancing to music and they both love playing with cars and Lego. Lola is nearly seven. 
She has one wobbly tooth. And she loves writing in her diary. She never tells me what she writes because it is a secret. She has one baby brother named Hunter. He was born on the 2nd of May. Did you know that babies drink milk from their mummy's boobs? Me, Eliza, Lola and Zach, my brother and my friend Isabella are all part of the Rose Queen of Salesbury. Good afternoon and welcome to my dinosaur presentation. These amazing reptiles ruled the earth for millions of years. Dinosaurs have been on our planet for more than 160 million years. I'm going, to, I'm going to talk about a few of these dinosaurs. Stegosaurus is also known as roof lizard. This dinosaur was a plant eater. It had two rows of plates and spines running along its back. These would have helped the dinosaur in an attack. Triceratops is also known as three horn lizard. Triceratops skull was almost the size of it, a third of its body. The Triceratops was a herbivore. T-Rex also known as Tyrant Lizard is one of my favourite species of dinosaur. The T-Rex was a meat-eating dinosaur. Thank you for listening to my talk.